Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We gotta talk about all this stuff that is going on with baby sis Cardi B. So I was very shocked today. Let me tell y'all this. Um I know her and Offset have been going through some stuff. I haven't talked to her, you know, in a while. We talked like maybe like a week or so ago or something like that. And she was telling me they were kind of going through stuff. But, you know, I'm kind of in a happy space. So, you know, when you're in a happy space, you know, you really don't want to take on other people's, you know, like just energy, what they're going through, you know. So, but I, I'll be a listening ear. And then she came out like a week later, like, you know, we're not together, um, because Blueface and Krishan, that whole thing, you know, Blueface saying that Krishan smashed Offset and stuff like that. I, I don't know if it's true or not. And then today, um, she took to social media and she literally went off. Like, it was it was very heartbreaking, like, to hear this. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and watch this. Give me just a second to pull this up here. I mean, she, she went off. She really, really went off. It was... Ugh. It was very crazy to listen to. Give me just a second here. Go ahead and pull this up. All right. So we're going to go ahead and listen to this together. Because you will fucking talk to a n and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to... Yo, this motherfucker really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time. When, I, when I'm not the most confident. They like, he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. He, he knows yesterday I could have been out. I could have been chilling. I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. I really been sparing you. You've been fucking feeling yourself, you bitch ass because of your bitch ass album and shit. And you really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that I motherfucking up your ass. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your bitch ass. And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever the fuck I tell you something, you don't take shit serious. All right, let me come back on the screen. I hate TMZ in that loud ass intro outro. All right, so y'all just heard what she said. Um, you can hear the pain in her voice. She's clearly extremely hurt. Um, you know, did reach out. We weren't able to like really get into details because it's like once we got on the phone, she just broke down crying. It's like when she heard my voice, she just broke down crying. And I'm going to say like this because a lot of people are saying, oh, she's only doing this because Nicki Minaj dropped her album. She's looking for sympathy to take away from Nicki's album. And I get why the Barb's think that. Like, don't get me wrong because y'all know I got my little, you know, my little Barb baby Malachi. I get why the Barb's think that because, it, you know, Nicki is having a good year. You know, the album dropped. Everybody's giving her praises. And then now a lot of the attention keeps focusing on Cardi B and Offset. I get that. But honestly, it's not anything to do with Nicki's album, she's really going through it. She's really going through it. You know what I'm saying? Um, she broke down crying. She's really going through it. I don't know everything, and it's not my business to know the ins and outs of everything in their situation. But, you know, this is somebody who's dealing with a lot of hurt. I'm going to say this. I wish she wouldn't have brought it to social media. I got to be very, very honest about that. You know what I'm saying? Sis, I got to be honest. This was not, social media is not the place to bring things like this because when you put things it's one thing think about it we all go through shit right we all go, go through things in our relationships we all say things that sometimes we regret and we wish we could take back but at least when you say certain things it's between you and that person but when you put it on social media those are words and actions that can never be taken back and the thing is social media there's no therapist on social media there's no real sympathy. It's a bunch of nosy motherfuckers who just want to, you know, who, who don't wish you well any damn way. Half the comments are people trolling her, making fun of her. 
it's like you're giving more fuel to like the barbs and you know the weirdos who don't like you who got something to say so i really wish that she wouldn't have took it to social media um i really wish that the people that she's very close to in her camp because i'm like who is there for her you know what i'm saying like who is there for her why does she feel like she cannot reach out to friends family entourages she she has an entourage of people hairstylists makeup artists i wish she would have caught me before she went to social media because i'd have shut the shit down because there's been a lot of times she's caught me before when she felt like she's about to crash out and i was able to calm her down and be like do not take that to social media you got to understand who you are your brand everything else so you know I, i'm trying to figure out where are all these people to help her because see when things are going good People are in your corner. But when you're going through stuff, that's when you really see who's there for you. So I really wish she wouldn't have took it to social media. But obviously, this was a cry for help. You know, she's frustrated and probably felt like she couldn't get his attention any other way. And I don't care who you are. You know, it's very easy um, for people to sit back and be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it doesn't matter. We're going to climb. We're going to do this and that. But we've all been through shit in relationships. Like, let's stop acting like everybody has been in a perfect relationship. You've never been cheated on. You've never been played. You've never been the player. You've never done things wrong. That's part of being in relationships. And this isn't even a, a so-called boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. This is a marriage. And marriage is not easy. There are ups, downs, you know what I'm saying, and everything in between. So they really need to figure this out. But the problem is when you bring it to social media it's a lot harder to rectify you know what i'm saying because of the things that she's saying you know the way she's talking about them but again nobody wants to feel used in a relationship i don't care if you're a man or a woman and i'm gonna keep it all the way 100. if it was not for cardi b offset would be where quavo's at right now irrelevant no shade but who's really like checking for quavo like that because it's like Cardi B has been the one really helping Offset's career, you know, with just different songs, bringing them on red carpets. So I think that's where her frustration lies. And it's like, well, now you dropping your album, you know, and I didn't listen to his whole album. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm not seeing it number one on the billboard. So don't get, you know, don't get too cocky and feel yourself, sir. So I think she's very frustrated and that's just keeping it all the way real. Cause she said, I didn't even get a thank you. She's really been the one reviving his career and making him relevant and staying in the press. Nobody just writes about Offset. It's always Offset and Cardi B at, you know, such and such fashion show. Offset and Cardi B front and center at such and such event. So I think that's where a lot of the frustration comes in from, but again at the end of the day they both got to remember they have children this is not a boyfriend girlfriend relationship you don't want your children to see you online bashing their father and vice versa the internet is not the place for family affair family business things have to be kept in house you know what i'm saying so that that's like my advice i just hope she doesn't go live again i get the hurt i get the anxiety i get the depression and she's going through it. You know, a lot of people are. You never know what people are going through behind closed doors. You know, um, and then her and um, Nikki got into it today, too. Let me share this with y'all. They went kind of back and forth. So if y'all don't know, when Nikki wants to troll Cardi, she uses the Michael Jackson meme. A lot of people don't know that. And she does this because Offset, for some reason, thinks he's the living embodiment child of MJ. He's out here dressing like MJ. He's, woohoo, you know, doing moves like MJ. He just, I, I guess. And I think he was like, um, I don't, he did something when he was younger or something with Michael Jackson and Whitney, if I'm not mistaken. So every time you see Nicki Minaj post Michael Jackson, that is a dig at Offset and Cardi B. So a lot of people are like, well, why is she mad? Nicki didn't say anything. Nicki be knowing what she's doing, okay? So let me go ahead and share my screen. So Nikki posted this picture of um, Michael Jackson. So that's supposed to be Offset. So that's her basically watching this. Again, 
her going online and telling her business is giving, you know, fuel to Nikki, the barbs, and, you know, all her little enemies. So Nikki posted that. And so Cardi B responded. Let me read her full response here. Let me share this tab. So Cardi B says, take your man to the park and leave me the fuck alone. Okay. And that was basically a dig at um, Kenneth Petty. Because I guess Kenneth Petty can't be at parks. Um, let me go back to sharing this tab here. They said Nikki really just threw the biggest shot ever and Cardi's really going through it. She's definitely going to respond. Um, somebody said Nikki and Cardi shading each other's husbands. Somebody else says I was hoping Cardi wouldn't fall into the trap and here she goes falling for it. I know Nikki's laughing her ass off because Cardi knew that's what she wanted. So... The whole thing is a mess, you know. Like I said, I wish she would have took it to social media. And the thing is, again, I get Nikki throwing shade because, you know, Nikki is in her bag right now. She's doing well. Her album's doing well. Her and Cardi, they're not friends. They don't get along. It is what it is. You're not going to like everybody, right? But, you know, Nikki also needs to remember she's been through it too. Let's not forget one of my favorite Nicki Minaj songs, Better Lies. Do you ever think of me when you lie? Lie down in your bed, your bed of lies. That was when she was going through with um, Safari. So again, we've all been there. You know what I'm saying? We've all had our heart broke. Y'all yeah, know me. I've been divorced. You know what I'm saying? I had my heart broke. You know, so we've all been there. So I'm, I'm not going to laugh at another woman's pain. But I get it. You know, they're enemies. They don't get along. But, you know... I can pull up a lot of Nikki songs where she's been, you know, going, going through it with a man. Pills and Potions. Another good song that I like. So we've all been there. So I just, you know, again, um, I don't think it's anything to, like, necessarily clown her about, you know, because nobody's relationship is perfect. But I just really wish she wouldn't have took it to social media. You know, that's the one thing I got to keep it real on. I wish she wouldn't have took it to social media. Because, again, it just gives people fuel for fodder. And how do you rectify that? You know, because at the end of the day, you know, Offset is a human being. You know, he's a man. But, you know, men, you know, have feelings too. You know, so let's say that she was on the other foot and Offset took to social media and was like, you know, my bitch ass wife and, you know, fuck her. And, you know what I mean? It wouldn't have went over so well. So we got to also remember if the, if, the, if the gender roles were reversed, it would not have been a good look. So I just, all I can do, I just pray for them. I hope they figure out whatever they're going to figure out. And remember that it is about the children. That's really what it's about at the end of the day. They're always going to be tied together. Regardless if they get a divorce and they separate, they're going to be tied to each other for life because of those two babies. So that's really what matters the most. And you don't want to be in a situation where you're disrespecting your significant other in front of the children, you know, so... I just wish them the best. I do. I wish them the best. The whole thing is just really sad. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.